Hello, it is Tuesday, July 11th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle today and I actually don't have very much time, so I hope I hope this solves smoothly. Um, it should. It's a Tuesday puzzle. It shouldn't be too difficult. And this hopefully smooth edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Sexton, Victoria Rajishka, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve a Patreon campaign for their generous support. If you'd like to join that campaign and get all of those bonus videos that have gone up on the channel for patrons, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or link in the description field. Thank you so much to everybody who has. I really do appreciate it. And there's also the official Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug for benefactors. Um, all right, do subscribe to the channel as well if you've not gotten around to that. And there is also, of course, the Daily Solve Discord chat server. You can join that in a link in the description field as well. All right, so let's waste no more time. Let's get on to the crossword. Uh, this is a construction by Adam M. Rosenberg. It's themed, of course. It's a Tuesday puzzle. Uh, around half a dozen puzzles constructed by Adam uh, M. Rosenberg to this point. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. See what is in store for us thematically or in any other way. Uh, to moisten as a turkey, you could baste a turkey as you could um, other, other meats in the oven occasionally. Uh, and to confer something upon someone is to confer upon, to bestow upon somebody. There we go. And the upon there means we'll read it both in the clue and the answer. And that was very helpful here because there are very fairly few words that, that would make sense paired with upon in this way. Um, and so that, that was actually quite helpful. If it just said confer, that would be, it would be a much more difficult clue. Reason to use an inhaler, asthma. Um, there we go. <laughs> they could take a couple of stabs at that. Run just for the exposure. Run just for the exposure, question mark. Right. So what sort of exposure does this mean? I mean, it's not what it sounds like it's saying is run for political office just to make a name for yourself rather than necessarily to, to win or because you're interested in public service. But I assume that's not what it means because that's the most obvious meaning, but there's this pun question mark indicator. So does exposure mean something like maybe camera exposure? Oh no, it means exposing yourself physically. So you're going to streak, you're going to uh, run, physically run, not run for office. Uh, in order to expose yourself. <laughs> Very clever clue. All right. Uh, Estes Park, Colorado, I think I've maybe seen before. Let's look at the clue and see. To gl yes, to glimpse someone or something is to espy them. A spy has that has a bit of a connotation of just glimpsing, seeing out of the corner of your eye, perhaps. Got, oh, here's, this must be a thematic clue. Got any news magazines? Sorry, we're strapped for... I mean, strapped for cash is a very common phrase. Is that, I don't think there's a, this doesn't, cash doesn't sound like a news magazine. So I'm, I'm not, I might not be on the right track there. Let's see. Pioneering folk rock group. The, oops. Oh, the birds maybe? Yeah, the birds is a, in fact, the, the birds were uh, used as a band in the Connections, the new New York Times word game that I've been solving daily on uh, YouTube shorts. They were part of a category one week. Work inter or one day. Work intermission for uh, Brits. It, it could be a tea. It could be, uh, well, tea breaks, plural. So work intermissions for Brits could be tea breaks. Fair enough. Um, rouses. Uh, if one rouses somebody, one wakes them up. And poli sci here, political science, just a common abbreviation. Maven. If someone's a maven, they're they're very good at something. They're uh, they're kind of an old pro. They're they're an ace, you could say. And if you're for something, speaking of pros, you're pro it. You're in favor of it. This really does look like strapped, doesn't it? It looks like strapped for. I'm going to leave that in, and we'll see if it's if it's proven incorrect. Visually assessed, eyed up. You could visually assess something or somebody, eye them up. Soviet symbol, the red red star. There we go. That was a common Soviet symbol. Sitcom planet from, sorry, sitcom character from the planet Melmac. Um, I mean, I don't know the name Melmac 
offhand, but um, I suspect it's Alf, who was a uh, an extraterrestrial sitcom character whose name I think stands for Alien Life Form. So there we go. From the what eighties and nineties was that was what was Alf late eighties early nineties maybe that would be my guess. Sort of feels like he would have been. Ballpark figures for short are. Yeah, this would be ETAs, wouldn't it be? Hmm. Is 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 this wrong? Oh, speak like this, yell. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so what is? Oh, ballpark. Oh no, it's ERA. Sorry, ballpark. Ah, yes, ballpark referring to baseball park. So ERAs. That is a baseball statistic. Is it? Earned run average, maybe something like that. I think so. There we go. That's what that is. I see. I, I was completely thrown by that for a moment. And here we have slow slow mo, um, just another common abbreviation in this case for slow motion. Um, Politico Perot. This is a U.S. political clue and refers to Ross Perot, a multiple times uh, independent presidential candidate in the U.S. Okay, so I still don't know what we're strapped for here. But the Halloween month is, of course, October, a hex nut question mark. Question mark. Is it somebody who's sort of, I don't know, extremely fond of hexes, sort of curses, a witch? Maybe it is. Maybe that is what it is. A hex nut, someone who's, who, just, who just loves to hex, who <laughs> loves to put curses on you, a witch. That could well be the case. That's a clever clue. Whacker target, a weed whacker is certainly a, um, a gardening implement with a casual term for a gardening implement, uh, like a document that can be changed. Editable, maybe in a, in a computing context rather than a physical document, but a compu document on the computer, if it is able to be changed, it's editable. Um, stately tree, elm tree, I suppose it's a stately tree. And to do away with gray, with gray say, could be to dye your hair. So without purpose, if you're without purpose, you're idle. And then, oh, strapped for time. Right, okay, so Time Magazine. Yes, I should have thought about that. Strapped for cash, strapped for time. Those are both reasonable uh, phrases to have completed. Okay, so there we go. That's that's the first part of our theme. Got any news magazines? Sorry, we're strapped for time. I, so I suppose the others of these will be maybe other kinds of magazines. This looks like out of shape. Is that what this one's going to be? Got any fitness magazines? Yes, sadly, we're out of shape. I've actually not, not heard of the fitness magazine shape, but it just seemed like that had to be what this clue was. Uh, so very good. Okay. So strap for time, out of shape. So are they all going? I mean, that's such an incredibly specific format. <laughs> we're specifically saying we're, we're using phrases that, that would be able to indicate that we don't have a particular kind of magazine. What an incredibly particular category of idiom to be using. That's amazing. Doesn't measure up, so to speak. Uh, and except for, but for this, final shot on a golf hole often could be a putt to just get it into the hole. And a competitor of Amazon Handmade. Must be Etsy. I've actually never heard of Amazon Handmade, but I suppose it must be a sort of section or category on the Amazon website aimed at sort of individual craftspeople. Initial order orders at a diner, BLTs. So uh, initial orders looks like the first orders that might be made at a diner, but indeed it's just taking the initial letters of a particular order at a diner for BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. One attempting to outsmart a bridge troll in a classic fairy tale. Oh, I don't remember who does that. Yeah, I don't remember who tries to have smarter bridge troll. Oh, right, and here's one of these. Got any showbiz magazines? Regrettably, or something variety. Variety is a famous, famous uh, Hollywood trade newspaper. So we're lacking, lacking variety. Wow, what a, I'm really impressed by, by the specificity of this theme. <laughs> Rizzo the Rat is a character from The Muppet Show. And if something doesn't measure up, so to speak, it pales in comparison, maybe. So here we have Norway's patron saint, Saint Olav. There we go. And uh, you could be in the fetal position. You could be curled up um, in the floor or wherever, I suppose. And there we go. All right. Rapper Lil Nas X is a rapper. 
and a narrow inlet is a rhea, that is a geographical uh, feature. You don't see that as much in the New York Times. You'd think, it's, you'd think this is the kind of word you'd see all the time because it's um, it's such common, you know, these letters, these three-letter words made up entirely of fairly common letters are so abused in the New York Times crossword, but I actually don't remember seeing this one very often. Okay, so who's out attempting to outsmart a bridge troll? Oh, it... Is it the Billy Goat? Is that is that the Billy Goat's gruff? Boy, I, I that is so, that really is in the recesses of my memory. I can't I can't really remember any of the premise of this, but I think it might be. Let's see. Completely fine. If something's completely fine, it's all okay. If you arrive at quickly as conclusions, you leap to those conclusions, so you arrive at them quickly. Fugitive could be an outlaw. If you uh, so. If she genuflects, she kneels, maybe in a religious context or, or, or you know, to show, pay homage to somebody. All right. Actor Stephen of Minari. Stephen uh, Yuan. I certainly recognize the name. Did I see Minari? I don't think I did. I've certainly seen a number of films with Stephen Yuan in them. All right. 1994 film about a portal through the cosmos. Stargate was that, as I recall. And dictionary, which I, I think I did see, but it would have been, you know, literal decades ago. Dictionaries, thesauruses, etc. informally are refs, reference works, maybe that means. And if one tucks something away, one stows it. Uh, like some flaws, fatal flaws. And got any celebrity magazines? Alas, we're... Obviously, it's referring to magazine people. We're not into people. We're not, uh, can't quite see it. I wish I could have just jumped right to that. Alternative to bottled could be tap water, bottled water, tap water. Get the better of mentally could be to outwit somebody. Entertainment industry quadfecta. I don't know what that's getting at. Interesting. Group of four of something. Indian flatbread could be roti. It comes up occasionally, doesn't it? And are we done here, you might ask? Not quite. Still a few more clues to solve. A mental cloud could be a fog. You could say this is, I'm just having a complete, complete mental fog here. Oh, the EGOT is the entertainment industry quad factor, the quad factor, the um, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, four major performing arts awards that uh, only a handful of performers have, uh, have, have swept. I guess, I guess sweep would probably imply in one year, so maybe that's not what I meant to say, but who have achieved all four, acquired all four, been awarded all four. <laughs> Let's move on. This, if, you, if one decided one would do something, one... Uh, some, what, you know, this S is surprising to me. Decided, I, I decided I would do it. I... Resolve to, I meant to, I'm just not seeing it. Here we have a few people. Got any celebrity magazines? Alas, we're, oh, we're down a few people or we're um, short a few people. We're short a few people, you could say. And that would mean, uh, you know, obviously in the idiomatic meaning, I mean, we have some staff members not here today, but here we're missing those ma that magazine. Very good. Beach lotion letters, SPF for sun protection factor on sun sunscreen or sun cream. And then sheer is, I don't know, I can't see it. Central bank branches informally. Feds, federal reserves. Um, so you could have in the U.S., the, the, you've got different kind of regional um, branches of the federal reserve in places like New York and uh, uh, San Francisco and I think Minneapolis and various other places. All right, shade, a, a shade, a color, a hue. Sheer, oh, pure, a sheer drop, a pure drop. I, I, I understand how sheer means pure, but I'm not coming up with a good example of how one would use it. But, but anyway, that's an interesting synonym, sheer and pure. Oh, sheer terror, pure terror. That you, that, that's a way you could use it. There we go. Okay. Outburst that may be entirely symbolic is... I don't quite see what that is. Fathers on a stud farm, sires, so... Siring used to refer to and to sort of an animal 
uh, a male animal, um, you know, being responsible for the birth of another. Okay, finish first. Uh, hmm, a win, right? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to think of all different other ways that this could that the, that you could use this, but none of them were coming to anything. So of course, win. Fin no, the most obvious meaning. Force by by dint of enthusiasm, by force of enthusiasm, you could say, you 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 achieved your goal. Tiny bubbles crooner. Um, I actually don't know this. This name doesn't ring a bell, but purely based on the fill, I'm wondering if it's Dean Martin, whose nickname I believe was Dino from the Rat Pack. I, that's a complete guess. I don't actually know this. It's just based on the fill. So let's see. Conclude at. No, no, maybe not. Sorry, this is probably an embarrassingly ridiculous guess. I was just doing it based on the fill, but I don't know that it worked out to anything. Percussion instrument with a mallet is a glockenspiel. Doesn't fit. That would be G-L-O-C-K. A gong. Oh, is it Don Ho? The, um, uh, was he Hawaiian, Hawaiian singer? A uh, very famous singer. So let's see. Conclude at, end on. There we go. That's better. Okay. Vet, e.g. A doc, a doctor, an animal doctor in this case. And if one decided one would do something, one chose to do it. Of course, there we go. Oh, right. Here's what I didn't realize we had more of these. Got any LGBTQ magazines? Unfortunately, we're missing, missing out. Boy, this is an amazing thing. I'm really impressed by it. How would you, how would you find these things? I mean, you couldn't do a computer search for these sorts of things, I don't think, because what would you, what would be the pattern? All right, rich soil is loam, rich loamy soil. And if you're against something, you're anti it. All right, so we had pro in here earlier, pro and anti, look at that, very clever. Not clever, but just a nice little nod. Outburst that may be entirely symbolic. It's not a crossword. Oh, a cuss word. So I think what this is referring to is in comic strips, when you represent profanity with kind of non-alphabetical symbols. That's a very clever clue as well. So let's see, the burden, yes, the burden is on you, the onus is on you to finish solving this crossword. Actually, it's on me. And these symbols are the at symbols, so several of them would be ats, and there we go. What an incredibly clever crossword. I mean, it was a great, I, I would say maybe maybe a little bit tougher than an ordinary Tuesday. I don't know, but, but quite a few people found yesterday tougher than an ordinary Monday. And it, that didn't occur to me at the time. So I'm not, I'm not, it's always really, it's incredibly difficult to judge because these things strike different people so, so uniquely. But let me know how you did fare with this one. Anyway, I found this incredibly clever, not just the theme clues, but also there were, it was just full of incredibly clever cluing throughout. So a really well put together crossword, I would say. Anyway, let's review our theme clues quickly. Got any news magazines? Sorry, we're strapped for time. Got any fitness magazines? Sadly, we're out of shape. Got any showbiz magazines? Regrettably, we're lacking variety. Well, have you got any LGBTQ magazines? Unfortunately, we're missing out. And finally, at least you have any celebrity magazines? Alas, we're short a few people. This person just can't catch a break. This newsstand does not have what they need. Uh, I'm actually, I've, I've been amazed at the, the sort of persistent, uh, I don't know, survival of newsstands, um, given the, the uh, you know, prevalence of, of reading things digitally rather than in physical media. I, I'd be curious to see the kind of how, how the economics of running a newsstand works these days. Anyway, uh, by the by, just was reminded of that thought that I sometimes have by, by this crossword. A really clever grid. I enjoyed that a great deal. I hope you did as well. And uh, I am just, I'm going, I shouldn't take the time to do this, but I am going to take the time to read the one um, clue correction I saw from, from yesterday's puzzle. So thank you to Dragon Traces, who, who's a frequent commenter, who points out that TNT is an abbreviation of tri nitro, uh, tri nitro toluene. So try nitrotoluene. I might be putting the stress on some of the on, on some of the wrong syllables there. But in any case, that's what TNT stands for. I was so I was on the wrong track except for the tri nitro part. So thank you for that, Dragon Traces. And I think that was the only 
um, correction that there, there was from yesterday's puzzle, the only one I saw anyway. So that's that for today's video. That's that for the puzzle. And I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the Wednesday crossword, a, um, a midweek mid-difficulty puzzle with a theme, uh, maybe a little bit of a step up in challenge from the last couple of days. Hope you join me. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care.